Hello. If you're growing vegetables in pots, I would have thought it would have been obvious how to water the pot if you're using a watering can. Um, but it's not that obvious. It just isn't. Particularly if you're new to gardening, if you're new to growing things in pots. Let me first give you an example of how not to water vegetables in a pot and then I'll show you how I do it. Uh, and for this um, little demonstration I've got just about a pint of water in this container that I'm going to put in this watering can. These are some potatoes growing in a pot. These are some carrots growing in a pot. I don't know if you can see, Molly's lying down front there. I'm going to put the rows on the watering can. Okay. And I'm going to give these carrots uh, uh, one pint of water there or thereabouts. Um, it's quite windy today, the sun's out. We'll just do this. Okay. Now I know that isn't a lot of water, but it's enough for this demonstration. I'll just put another uh, pint of water in here and we'll do the potatoes. Excuse me Molly. Okay, so that's the carrots watered. Um, we've got another pint of water in this watering can, we'll do the potatoes. Okay, now that might be equivalent to a light shower. I don't know, it's hard to tell uh, when it rains, just how much water actually goes into your pots. And you might actually be tempted not to water them at all, um, because it's rained. Um, but that would be a mistake, unless you've had torrential rain. And I'll tell you why. I'm not too sure if you can see this, but most of this water that I put on this potato plant is still on the leaves. In fact, very little of it has got onto the soil or the dirt in the pot. Most of it is on these leaves. And most of the water that went on these carrots is on the leaves. Very little, if any, has gone into the pot. It's on the leaves. When I move these pots out of the way, you'll see that there's a, quite a bit of water, actually not even on the leaves. You can see it's on the ground. So most of this water hasn't actually got onto the, uh, onto the potato plant or the carrots at all. It's either gone on the leaves where it'll just evaporate off, it'll do the plant no good at all, or it's finished up on the ground and again it'll do the plants no good at all. It needs to be on the soil, on the compost, in the pot. Okay, now I'll show you how to do it properly with another pot of carrots and another pot of potatoes. This is how I water my pots. First of all, we remove the rows and we water just using the nozzle and directly to the soil or dirt or compost in that pot. Okay. Now if I pour in there, pint of water. I know that that potato's had a pint of water. It's all gone in the pot. It's gone nowhere else but into that soil, into that dirt. Let's do the carrots. I've just put another um, pint's worth of water in this watering can. Put the nozzle into the carrots and water the compost. Water the soil, water the dirt.
Now I know that pot of carrots has had a pint of water there or thereabouts and I know this potato has a pint of water there or thereabouts. Had I watered over the top of these plants then who knows what would have gone in the pot. It certainly wouldn't have been a pint of water and if a pint of water is say equivalent to a, a light shower, I don't know, maybe even more than a light shower, then there's a light shower's worth of water gone into those pots. But it wouldn't go into those pots if it was an actual light shower, would it? I, I mean, I've, de I've demonstrated that earlier. Most of it would not go into the pots. So it's vitally important, this is where the water goes. Not over the top. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.